Alright, before we get into this Art of War 3 battle, I just want to highlight one of our opponents for this battle. This is a rank 19 player who has 19 medals total. So, quite a few medals here. A very strong opponent. And we have an exciting matchup lined up. So, let's go ahead and get into the battle. Alright, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena. And today, we're going to be doing a clan versus clan 2v2 battle. I'm going to be the green confederate player, and my ally, 482MP2, is going to be the blue confederate player. So let's go and get into it. We're going to be facing off against that 19-time medalist, who's going to be the red player, and their partner, who is a rank 16 player, they're going to be the yellow resistance player. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be actually going for a rush. So Bolin and I have some fire assaults, hammers, heavy assaults mixed together. Let's go ahead and get into it. So my fire assaults are moving on to the yellow player and is absolutely shredding these infantry. Yellow desperately trying to produce troops to defend and we can see that yellow trying to drop a couple of sniper towers. But we are already at the entrance of yellow's base. Yellow is in trouble now. Fire assaults are just shredding the infantry as they come out the barracks while my hammers dish out damage against the buildings and armadillos. Both forces are moving in now. We can see the hammer tanks are dishing out damage against the buildings. Heavy assaults dishing out damage against an assault vehicle factory. Yellow is going to lose an assault vehicle factory and it looks like we're now just shredding the inside of Yellow's base. Red is desperately trying to reinforce here, bringing in some armadillos and snipers but my hammer tanks are dishing out damage against the armadillos so far and we still got plenty of momentum on our side here we're just continuing to clean up the yellow player so fire assaults are now moving on to the infantry our forces are splitting a little bit here now so my forces are looking to deny the reinforcements that are coming in from red while bullets forces are now cleaning up the rest of the yellow player's base so you can see now my fire assaults continue to just push the red player back Red has no answer as of right now so far, and we're able to finish the rest of Yellow's base, no problem. And just like that, in the first 10 minutes of the game, we have turned this into a 1v2, and we can see that Red is trying to reinforce now. Red's got some gators out and some more infantry coming in, but again, my fire assault are dishing out great damage against those infantry. We're gonna be able to deal with them, no problem. I tell Bullet to send a hammer over to scout the red player. We don't know what red has yet, but we suspect that given that they haven't surrendered yet, they might be up to something. So I'm going to send my ground troops over. We're going to deny the infantry in Armadillo from getting onto the plateau. Again, we're going to push onto the scouts there. And we can see some hawks coming in from the red player. So we know that red's got some aviation on the battlefield and it's already at least HQ3. Uh, I have no response for these hawks. I need to retreat. So I'm going to try to pull back my hammers and my infantry, but these are maxed out hawks on a boost. They are dishing out tons of damage. My infantry and tanks are just getting shredded out here. So my plan is to move back onto the plateau area where Yellow's base used to be. Uh, I'm trying to buy us as much time as possible now for us to build and develop into the game. It doesn't seem like the yellow player is going to go anywhere considering that red is still dishing out damage against us. And most likely, if my ground troops get cleaned up here, yellow is going to try to rebuild into the game. So I've lost all my fire assaults. I don't have anything to counter those infantry coming in now. And those hawks are dishing out steady damage against my hammer tanks. So I'm probably going to lose the last bits of my ground troops here. Meanwhile, bullet we can see here is now fully developing their base. Uh, Bullet's got seven supply centers. I've got seven supply centers as well. I'm going for a full HQ3 build here, trying to get some fire assaults, hammer tanks, and typhoons out for anti-air. I'm gonna try to make a push onto this container. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. We can see a few infantry. Armadillos, we see a ton of infantry actually. Uh, I underestimated how many troops would be here. Now there's a ton of hawks coming in from the red player. Red's got at least five hawks in the mix. That tells us red's already HQ4. So uh, red's building very quickly. I don't have the ground troops to counter red's army right now. So I'm going to need to regroup. I have to give up the container. 
So Boxer now coming back in, tons of damage against Bullet's troops. Bullet only has one Typhoon in there. One Typhoon's just not gonna cut it. So Bullet's gonna move on to Red Player's base with those heavy assaults and hammer tanks. I'm gonna flag a factory there. We see a level three prototype factory. So there might be a Leviathan on the battlefield. And we see that Red is already HQ5. So Red is boosting a crazy amount and has a ton of upgrades. So we can see that uh, Bullet's trying to clean up some troops here. Uh, let's see if Bullet can finish off a few more buildings here. This assault is not going to be enough though. Those heavy assaults are just getting shredded by the Hawks. But it looks like Bullet is going to be able to clean up that prototype factory. So, uh, so a little bit of delay for the red player, which is good. But again, this is just not going to be enough to clean up the red player. Those Hawks are doing some wicked damage against Bullet's forces. Bullet is going to have to retreat and regroup. Uh, and we can see those Hawks now. Uh, they're taking some steady damage from the Typhoons. Bullet's still trying to uh, reinforce that top plateau area, but I don't think it's going to work out. Meanwhile, I'm continuing to assemble a ground army. I flagged that space on the top plateau. There's a ton of infantry and armadillos just waiting to attack. So I think uh, Red's going to try and launch an attack. And there's the Leviathan from the Red player. I've got plenty of Typhoons, Zeus tanks, and fire assaults. Something I'm really concerned about though is that tactical nuke missile though. And it looks like Leviathan's putting some, some fire onto my units. Here comes the nuke and the nuke does a ton of damage against my units. Uh, the good news on my end though is that my fire assaults absolutely shredded the ground army for red. Red's going to have to retreat. That Leviathan is heavily damaged by my army. So I'm going to try to push my ground troops now onto the plateau. You see my Zeus tanks trying to Take the damage. Fire assault's moving in now to help out. And now I'm gonna move my ground troops onto this top plateau area for map control. Here comes the Hawks though. And there's a ton of Hawks in the mix. I'm trying to see if I can finish off that Leviathan though. I don't think I'll be able to take it out. And the Hawks are just shredding my Typhoons one by one. But with every pass, it's so costly for those Hawks. My Typhoons are dishing out tons of damage. We got a gold air raid boost as well just to maximize the effectiveness of my Typhoons. And my Typhoons are maxed for rank or firepower. So you can see those Hawks, two of them go down right there. And that last Hawk goes down. So we're able to secure control of this top plateau area for now. Uh, I'm HQ4 already at this point. I'm just trying to get some extra resources. And then I'm going to try to launch a ground assault onto the yellow player's base. Yellow has most likely rebuilt. Meanwhile, we can see double Avia factories from Bullet. Bullet is going to go for the aviation build. Uh, looks like we're going to have to do a more conventional army build. Looks like there's a scout onto the base for Bullet there from the Hawks. Uh, looks like my Zeus tanks are dishing out some damage against the yellow player. Yellow's trying to press onto the plateau with the armadillos and infantry. There's some gators there to support from the red player. And here comes a nuclear missile, and it destroys a ton of Bullet's base. This is bad news for us. Bullet's base has been leveled completely. So at this point, uh, both Bullet and I are realizing that we have severely underestimated this red player. This red player is super strong, and we need to get ourselves together and rally, or we're going to lose this game. So... I'm going to push an assault now onto the yellow player's base. My Zeus tanks are taking care of the gators while my fire assaults are attacking the sniper towers. Fire assaults are not the best matchup with the sniper towers, but uh, my fire assaults are close to max, so they are decently tanky. Uh, my Zeus tanks are moving in slowly but surely. More hawks coming in from the red player. I'm going to throw on another gold air raid boost just to take care of those hawks. Looks like yellow has in fact rebuilt. We see a factory, uh, some barracks, and some good infrastructure, but uh, looks like we've got Bullet here dishing out some fire against the red player. That nuclear missile silo has been taken out by Bullet. Bullet's gonna clean up a hawk there very nicely. And we can see that now my ground troops are moving onto yellow while Bullet dishes out damage against that airfield. The airfield gets taken out. Red is operating only on five supply centers, so it looks like Red's been having to relentlessly build uh, infrastructure and produce units in order to cover themselves and cover their ally. So, 
Uh, now I'm just moving on to yellow, just trying to finish off the yellow player. We need to make sure that this is a 1v2. That red player is incredibly strong, and we don't want to take chances at this point. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off that supply center. Headquarters is going to go down for the yellow player. Hawks coming in from the red player, getting a scout onto uh, Bullet's base here. And we see that Bullet has a defensive line setup of Typhoons and Hammer Tanks. So I've finished off the yellow player's base. It is now a 1v2. I'm pretty close to full command points. Here comes the red player though. Red's got Armadillos, Grenadiers, Snipers, and a Leviathan. Leviathan is back in action again. Let's see how this pans out. We can see that Leviathan is pretty much full health. Are we going to be able to clean it up though? And those Vertex shred the Leviathan. Leviathan goes down. But look at how Bullet's ground troops are just getting absolutely decimated. Bullet's in trouble now. Bullet's got the Vertex to dish out damage, but uh, Vertex are not optimal against infantry. Bullet needs some ground troops to support secondarily. Uh, looks like the Vertex are being microed very well by Bullet. Bullet is trying to optimize the efficiency of his Vertex, considering that uh, they're the only units that he's got left right now to defend his base. Bullet is going to lose one of the airfields though. And those armadillos in the back are dishing out steady damage against Bullet. Bullet needs to take care of those armadillos and the porcupine or he's going to lose that other airfield. I don't know if Bullet will be able to though. Those hawks are dishing out steady damage as well. And Bullet is going to lose the airfield and he knows it. He's building another airfield to try and save those vertex. But I don't know if he'll be able to. Those vertex are taking damage steadily from the porcupine and from the hawks in play. Looks like Bullet has lost all his Vertex and is in the process of losing his Avia factories. This is not looking good for Bullet at all. Bullet is taking pressure from these units. Hawks come back in again from the Red player. Red's got four Hawks in play now. Red is just crushing Bullet right now and this is not looking good at all. Bullet is trying to tech up to HQ5. Uh, that was most likely a move that was done before uh, the red player attacked. So I am going to launch an assault at this point. I was waiting to see if Bullet would do okay with defending the assault. Bullet has cleaned up the last bits of the ground troops there for the most part. I'm moving a ground assault now onto the red player. Uh, if I had to redo this specific ground assault, I would actually move my fire assault back further so that they're under the protection of the shield generator. Uh, I didn't micro my fire assaults properly, and you can see that the fire assaults have strayed too far from the shield generators, and they're just getting shredded by the infantry and sniper towers. I'm going to clean up an airfield there, very nicely done. And this other airfield is going to be able to save one of the hawks. Red is going to lose one of their hawks though. Uh, meanwhile, my Zeus tanks and typhoons are slowly moving on to the red player. Red is now desperately trying to produce as much grenadiers as possible to defend. I'm gonna clean up that other airfield though, so no more hawks for the red player. And my typhoons are just shredding the hawks. And then we can see the hawks going down, but now the grenadier numbers are starting to pile on slowly. My shield generator has run out, and it's not gonna be able to cover my Zeus tanks and typhoons. I'm only down to five Zeus tanks though, I'm trying to get that special vehicle factory. Special Vehicle Factory is going to go down, but now my Zeus tanks are heavily outnumbered. This is not looking good for this assault. My shield generators are going to turn on to cover the Typhoons. I'm trying to clean up those last bits of hawks, and now I'm going to need to retreat here. I don't have any more ground troops to attack with. Right now, I'm hoping that that ground assault was enough to buy time for Bullet to rebuild. We can see Bullet's dropping down a couple of Assault Vehicle Factories and is producing a lot of infantry. And we can see that there's a mix of heavy assaults and riflemen. We can see Hawks now coming in for the red player. And let's see how this pans out. Bullet is going to retreat. He needs to get in a better position to defend. This Hawks now dishing out damage against Bullet steadily. While Grenadiers are slowly moving in onto Bullet's base. So Bullet's going to regroup at the front. And now these Grenadiers are going to push onto the base and it's Grenadiers against Heavy Assault and Regular Assault with a couple Armadillos and Snipers mixed in along with a Porcupine. Bullet's now trying to produce a couple tanks out of the Assault Vehicle Factories 
to help with the defense here. Uh, I'm going to throw on a red common production boost here. I'm trying to produce an army as fast as possible to uh, push onto red. Bolt's going to flag the entrance though. Bolt is running out of troops to defend with. This is not looking good and I am not in position to defend Bullet at all. I need to get some ground troops over there. So based on the composition, I'm going to try to make Zeus tanks and fire assaults. Uh, there's a couple gators shooting onto my Zeus tanks though as they come out the factories. And Bullet's in big trouble now. His factories are being hit. He's going to lose the assault vehicle factory. He's probably going to lose his other assault vehicle factory. Bullet's still trying to make infantry to defend, but that's not going to be enough. These infantry and armadillos are pushing steadily onto Bullet's base. Hawks are coming back in once again. Uh, Red has two more Hawks in play here and those Hawks are providing some very nice aviation support. Bullet has no response whatsoever for the Hawks other than his anti-air towers and those towers are just not going to cut it. So we can see that Bullet is now throwing in the white flag. Bullet is in big trouble. He has no way to fight back. I'm desperately trying to produce the infrastructure to make fire assault to send him over. But I don't think I'm going to get to Bullet's base in time. Bullet is probably going to lose his base here. And I don't have enough to attack Red and make a push at the same time. So I'm making an executive decision right now. We can see my headquarters is coming under fire. So uh, Red's got us under heavy pressure despite it being a 1v2. So we need to end this game now. Uh, I'm going to move my full ground army onto the Red player's base. Uh, my thought with this is that Red's got plenty of ground troops here at Bullet's base, which means it's less troops at the base to defend. So here we go now. I've got four shield generators, fire assaults, Zeus tanks, and typhoons mixed together. Let's push an assault onto Red, and we can see now fire assaults mixed in under the protection of the shield generator, much more effective. We've got a few fire assaults here actually cleaning up a good portion of these infantry, but it's not going to be enough. Fox are now firing onto my ground troops here, but I've cleaned up most of the ground troops defending the red player's base. Red's now in trouble. It's turning into a base trade here. My Zeus tanks are dishing out heavy damage against the red player. And at this point, we need to just finish the red player off. I'm going straight for the tier 5 headquarters. We can finish the headquarters off. There will be no more unit production for the red player. And we can see that my shield generators are not being microed properly. Uh, at that point, uh, I was going to move them closer to the Zeus tanks, but I'm not as concerned about the micro. I know I can finish the red player, but I can't make any mistakes here. So, Zeus tanks are now firing onto the Avia factory here. I'm going to throw on a gold vehicle attack boost. We just want to finish off that airfield. Airfield gets taken out. No more Hawks for the red player. So at this point, uh, it is going to be a good game. Uh, this game ended up being a lot closer than we wanted it to be, uh, but we were able to pull off the win. All right, so this is just an example of how to transition from a rush into a conventional base build. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this very intense battle. We will see you in the next one. Good luck with your battles.